Light is your number one security tool, and the Olight SR Mini Intimidator is an excellent security tool. First off, it has 2,800 lumens of power, and that's pretty flippin' incredible just in itself. And to give you another idea, that's over 12,600 candela. It uses three of the Cree XM L2 LEDs. Uh, one of the things though that's really unique about this light is that it has a diffused lens and it almost looks frosted. There are small grid patterns all over the lens. Now what this does, it diffuses the light and really makes a very bright flood. Not so much of a hot spot. A lot of your flashlights will have a beam. This really just opens up and it lights up an entire area. Almost like a large spotlight. And so, especially in small areas, if you need a lot of light, this is really going to fit the bill. I'm a ninja. He's a ninja. Can you put it in my hands? Let him live. Give him some water. Put it in my neck. He'll fly out. But it's going to get that light off of that pinpoint beam and it's going to brighten up large areas. Give you a better look of the three Cree XM L2 LEDs. Uh, very efficient, very bright, and these bulbs will last for 50,000 hours a piece, so that's really incredible in itself. In fact, Olight says it's like a bright wall of light. Now the light is five inches in length. It weighs 10 ounces without the batteries. One of the things I really like about this light is the feel in your hand. It has a, it's about a two inches, 1.9 inches in diameter. So you can really get a grip on the light and yet it's not too large because of the size. It has a hard anodized finish on it, this military spec, and it's an aerospace grade aluminum alloy so the weight stays down. Really nice cooling vents here on both sides and then you have this, this checkered pattern that gives you a good solid grip and then it flares out just a touch at the heel. Of course you've got a place for a lanyard here the back of the light says SR Mini Intimidator. Power switch is right here at your thumb, so you're able to get right to it. Has a stainless steel ring around it. The bezel as well has a nice stainless steel ring. Then there's also this really unique crenulated bezel that has two impact points. But this is excellent as a defensive tool. And that's one of the things about your flashlight, is that it's a security tool with light where it illuminates, but it's also a security tool, a non-lethal option, when you have a crenulated bezel because once you put batteries in this thing it really has a heft to it and if you find yourself in a bad situation this can be your first line of defense. It does have Olight right here on the side but other than that there are no other markings except the back and the side of the light. Now Olight flashlights tend to be one of my favorites and a lot of that has to do with not only the reliability of these lights but the quality and everything is just done to perfection. It comes with a nice lanyard that just clips right in, gives you ease of carry, and it also comes with a sheath, nice Velcro. It's elastic so it slides right in. You can wear this on your belt, even has a little D-ring. It comes with your manual and extra O-rings. But this is just an exceptional light out in the field. It is a very smooth flood. Uh, it does light up. It's a soft area lighting. So it's really nice outside. It's not harsh like a lot of lights. And with 2800 lumens, you would expect it to be pretty harsh. To get to the battery compartment, just unscrew the tail cap. It's kind of unique how these batteries fit. They all fit with a positive end down against the head of the light. On the tail cap, there's a notch right here. This stud actually fits into a hole right here. And this keeps everything lined up. Now there are three sleeves included in case you choose to use the CR123s and this helps them from vibrating uh, which can affect the light. Power switch is right here. Turn the light on and then you can go through the modes by clicking twice. Now you will notice that the green shows up that the power is on. That really helps in case you have the light in the down position you'll know that the light is on in case you don't have the crenulated bezel. Of course, the power indicator that the light is on, here it is in green, and um, just lets you know that the, where the switch is, for one thing, that's probably as much as anything, just knowing where this switch is to be activated. Now, to go through the mode settings, just click twice. That goes down to the 200 lumens, 
click twice, 600 lumens, and then with the last one is the 1200 lumens. If you want to go into turbo, just click hold down the button and this will go into the turbo mode. And then it'll return once you let go to the standard setting. And that really makes this a dedicated turbo. Uh, you're not setting it on turbo, it's just when you need it, that little extra boost, you can really click it. Then again, this is the 200 lumens. You can go again straight into the turbo setting. In turbo, it will go out to 224 meters. So even though it's a very bright, diffused light, it still has range. Now to get to strobe, just click it three times. And then we have strobe, and that's at the 1200 lumens. At 1200 lumens, it'll go for three and a half hours. At 200 lumens, it'll go for 16 hours. And then for the 600 lumens, it'll go for seven hours. We have the Olight SR Mini. We're gonna get a little bit of a field view here. This is at the lowest setting, 200 lumens. As you can see, it is very floody. I mean, this is a really large field right here. And it's gonna probably be harder to tell. Now we're gonna bump it up give you more of an idea. Okay, this is the next setting at 600 lumens. And then we have 1200 lumens. And you can see it's just a large spill. Very diffused, but so intense it just brightens up the whole area. But it's just a very bright overall light. And then we're going to go with turbo. And here we are turbo 2800 lumens and I'll tell you what that's pretty massive that tree down there is at about 50 yards and I can see way down in fact my shooting range is about 50 yards past and it's lit, it's lit up really well there is a beam coming out especially in the turbo but that's a diffuse beam if this was a pinpoint beam it would really be super bright but the light is bright enough to where it really creates a nice beam and yet creates a really nice flood here we're going to look up the driveway again that's about 75 yards to the top of that hill it just brightens up this whole area and this is a pretty large yard right here of course the trees shine very well this is in the 1200 lumens now we're down to the 200 lumens. And I'll tell you, you may not be able to really get the idea right here, but this is really a bright light. I mean, you can see this entire area, not just where you see the spill, but it is in that entire area. There's a lot of light. And then we have, of course, massive turbo brightness, 2,800 lumens. It's a very intuitive light system. It's really easy to get to your modes. And I really like that. If I just want to click it on, I've got it on solid turbo setting. Uh, if I just want to go ahead and click it to the high setting, I can. Now if I want to program it to come on on the low setting or any other setting, just double click to find the mode that I want. Now this is at the 200 setting. So I'm going to let it set for just about three seconds, turn it off, turn it back on, it's at the 200 lumen setting. I like keeping it simple, especially with lights, especially with a security light. You don't want to fiddle around and have to memorize different ways to do this. And there are many lights out there that are pretty complicated. That's one of the things I love about this light. It's just simple, and I like to keep it simple. Now the SR Mini is IPX8, which means that it keeps dust, debris, and it can be submerged into two meters of water.
Now the strike bezel is an option, it's sold separately. Uh, all you have to do is to remove the screws that are here. And go ahead and attach the defensive bezel. And once you get it into place, that's pretty aggressive looking. Now the Olight SR Mini Intimidator is $149 on the Going Gear website. And Marshall at Going Gear is a good buddy of mine. He sent this light for the review. Now one of the good things about Going Gear is they have a standing 10% off Such discount. So when you're checking out or you're calling them or whatever, you mention Such 00 in the coupon code or when you place your order and they'll give you 10% off. So that really helps. Plus, Going Gear gives uh, any orders over $49 free shipping, which is also a great deal. And so, and that's anywhere in the continental U.S. And so no matter what you order, or you can add things to this order and get a 10% discount, again, using Such and the coupon code. And I want to thank Marshall and the guys at Going Gear. They're great to deal with. They'll really take care of you. Great customer service. Down in Smyrna, Georgia, right outside of Atlanta. If you're looking for a great security light, one that will really light up the night, the Olight SR Mini Intimidator is an excellent choice. Olight SR Mini, thumbs up. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. For no other reason, this is why you need a flashlight at night. <laughs> he's got him dinner already. And he's a big one. Okay. Come back. <laughs> Losers. <laughs>